Stop cracking when singing. How do we do that? Hey guys, my name is Ken Tamplin from Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the singing. Now, wherever you get your information from, it's important to ask yourself two very specific questions. And the first thing is, the person giving you the information, can they demonstrate it themselves and demonstrate it well? And do they have students that demonstrate what they're teaching to prove out that, that what they're telling you is the truth? Here at Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, we have over 300 videos with dozens of students demonstrating and proving out what we teach to give you honest, legit information. With that said, how do we not crack when we sing? Well, why do we crack when we sing? I think that's the biggest, most important question. And to answer that, there's many reasons, but there's two big reasons. And the first one is physiological. There's a physical strength training of building up to a certain point so that we're strong enough to be able to hold a note. There's a second part too, which is psychological, which has to do with nerves and being afraid to sing in front of someone or being afraid of the high note. Now I have a singing course called How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else at KenTamplinVocalAcademy.com where I walk you through step by step all of these different things on how to strength train, how to think about the notes psychologically so you're not afraid of the high notes or you're not afraid of an audience. I also have some cool tutorials. Um, check out my Fear of Singing video. Um, it's on YouTube, you'll like that. But the first thing is I want you guys to go refer back to my video called Diaphragmatic Support. We're gonna do a couple of scales here. I want you to do them with me, but you have to know how to control your diaphragm first to be able to relax the chest and the neck and the throat so that you're not choking off the cord and, and panicking. <laughs> By the time you get there, whether you're holding a note or worried about singing a high note or just a, a phrase that's a little hard to sing. We're gonna do three vowels, ooh, O and ah, and it's gonna go like this. Now guys, I'm gonna do this in a lower register for, for the mean average of where most guys are. Ladies, you'll do this up an octave. You wanna feel the freedom in the throat and the strength in the abdomen because you know how to control abdominal strength. Now in the back of the throat, I have another component of video that goes along with this called open throat technique where you want to have the back of your throat stay completely open, your tongue drop to the base of the jaw, to where you create the maximum amount of space in the throat to relieve any kind of tension that could take place there at all. diaphragm, it's the engine that drives your car. because I know I've played this video game enough to know when I'm coming around the corner and I lose a life from some bad guy that gets me, that if I have strength in my abdomen and I've learned how to relax my chest, my neck, and my throat, I know how to get to the next level. So I cover all of this in my singing course called How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else. Now, there's one more really important thing, and that is the psychology of how we get to those notes. Now, there's something called vowel modifications, and in those vowel modifications, we want the throat to feel the path of least resistance. We don't want the throat to go, ooh, ho, oh, ha, and have big changes in the throat. We want the vowel to be very similar and closely related. So, ho, right, so that they're all very similar in the way they feel. So if you guys are uh, interested, please check out my singing course. I hope that you uh, will like and subscribe to my videos, and I've got more coming your way on how to sing better than anyone else. Till next time.